Hey guys, this is Ultimate Episode D60. I'm going to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV using optical cable. You can connect this soundbar to your TV using optical cable, HDMI or Bluetooth. Optical cable and HDMI cable are included in the packaging. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up. Check out my video how we connected this soundbar and everything link it together with the speakers and the subwoofer so to connect this up okay what you need to do is you need to make sure you unplug the sandbar from the power now take the optical cable go into the back where it's written optical so from the back here you have eac usb optical auxi and dc in is the power cable okay so you have four parts at the back here okay so take take the optical then you go into the optical push it inside and it's in okay now take the other end of the cable end of that optical cable to your tv i'm going to do this connection using lg tv so this is lg tv so Take the other end of the cable to back of your TV where it's written optical digital audio. Push it inside and you can see it's in. So take the cable where it's written digital audio in. So put the cable here. Now plug the TV onto the power. Plug the sandbar and also plug the subwoofer to the power now the next thing to do is you need to switch the sandbar on okay and when you switch the sandbar on you need to select optical and it's showing us now optic okay now we need to switch the tv on Okay, so now we need to go to the settings. Scroll down to the sound. And you can see the sound is showing us TV speaker. You need, we need to select on the sound. So scroll to the side to optical. Optical out. Select on it. It's connected. Now what you need to do is you need to increase the volume using the sound bar remote. Crikey, they don't hang about. Just a few minutes on the clock, and the Reds are up and running with this little chap. That was a speed. This is surround. We don't mess it out. We don't mess it out. You don't, do you? No messing indeed. The Blues have found a silver pencil, but does it have a hallmark? Yeah, the mark this is Buzz. Right um, but it has a Chester hallmark. It's probably some late Victorian. Okay. That's quite nice. It would have fitted just on your on your watch chain. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Labour, working class, a socialist. Mm. He's written a very good memoir. So this had to hook this. Upon welfare, uh, the psychology of poverty, etc. And he makes the point that half the story, yes, is government cuts, which in the last uh, 13 years have been savage and had a big impact upon poverty. I don't deny that. Mm. But he says the other problem is the loss of that Victorian sense of, cult of that Victorian culture of, of pride and self-improvement. And it might be that if we can't rely on people to engender that for themselves, the state has to teach it. So I, I support Keir Starmer for doing this. I, I'm not against it. But I think we really need to have a bigger conversation about this. This is what kind of beautiful stuff. In which people are I see the subwoofer. Having brushed their teeth. There's deadbeat parents, Terry. I think we often have this discussion. Whenever we talk about poverty, we talk about the parents, we talk about benefit claimants, and we've seen consistently in the media the demonization of working class people. I this is equalizer. Surround. People are working very, very hard to provide, and they're still and This is beautiful stuff. Oh, man. The conversation says, how do you provide people with the means to 
to inculcate the kinds of culture that we know is associated with greater wealth. And for me, that comes back to how do you set up an economy that allows that people to have the jobs they need to provide them with the income they need, rather than say, how do you end, end up looking to the state to do everything? Right. That's the fundamental difference. And what did you make of what Matt said earlier? The Keir Starmer seems to think that the government, the state, needs to step in to solve every problem, to paraphrase his well, Hold, and it won't, if you hold on to it a bit, it won't warm needs. Uh, resolving when you've got those statistics around uh, hospital admissions for people with tooth decay. But I don't accept the characterisation of deadbeat parents. I mean, uh, you know, I've lost count of the times that you know, in, the, in the morning rush, maybe one of my children has gone uh, out for the day without having brushed their teeth. But that's, you know, that, that, I think it's wrong to characterise parents in that particular way. Parents do a, a, a good job, but, but there I, is I, clearly a, a, an issue. When the connection is in optical, you control the volume using the sandbar remote control. So this is how to hook this Samba up to your TV using optical cable. Thank you and stay blessed.